Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a timeline based on today's date and a due date. So as you can see on the screen, I've got a column at the end there, days remaining with a little data bar and the number of days remaining between the actual due date of a task and the current date, which is today. So that's what I want to do. I just want to recreate this. So if I copy these, copy those down here, paste, and just copy these as well, and just paste them down there to get myself sorted out. So first of all, the current date, I'm going to use a function which is equals today. That is today's date, and I can just double click that down because it sees these words and it will know that's part of the same table. Now I need to just add some due dates. So I'm just going to do slightly different ones to those at the top. So if I say 23rd of the 4th, 24, 27th of the 4th, 24, 1st of the 5th, 24, and 21st of the 4th, 24, that'll do. So now I need to do a little sum, a simple sum that's going to take one from the other, which is just equals the due date minus today's date. Tick that option. So that's three days. I double click that down. That gives me the actual duration that is remaining on these tasks. Now with it still highlighted, so just keep it highlighted, I want to put this data bar on, which is here. So I'm on the home tab, conditional, dropping that down, data bar, you've got these other options in there, but data bar, and then it, that's the condition one, that's what I want. So you've got set automatic on minimum, maximum, but you can change that if you want. So you can change it to a number, you can change it to percent or whatever you want. And you've got more options down the bottom, which I do want to tweak. So that's the settings. If it goes negative, um, it will show red, that's what it's there for. It's on gradient, I don't want it to be on gradient because that's not on gradient, that's a fixed color. So I'll just select that to be a fixed color and I should change this color so it's not identical to the other one, so green and then red. And then you can play around with anything else in here that you might want to change, but for now, if I click OK to that and then OK to that, I get my, my little bars there and you can see thing counting down. If I change any of these dates, so if I put that as the 24th of the 4th, 24, that will just react and show you the days remaining with a little data bar there reflecting it as well. So that's all I want to talk about on this little video, how you can use the today function to give you a formula that will show you how many days are remaining and then add a data bar onto that so you've got a visual. So hopefully that was use. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next one.